As governor of this great state, sometimes I am forced to make difficult choices for which there are no clear-cut solutions. Given the crisis we are now facing with the rapid multiplication of the medfly, I am hereby ordering the spraying of the chemical pesticide Theothion well, in order to governor, save our crop. Governor, governor, governor. Please, please, I am Dr. Hiro Fujimoto of the Animal Research Institute, and I must respectfully point out that my studies have shown Theothion not only to be potentially dangerous with respect to any animals that it may come in contact with, but to certain types of insects as well. I have reason to believe the chemical can lead to abnormal and hyper-accelerated growth rates and even potential mutations. Dr. Fujimoto, while I am completely familiar with the possible dangers of spraying with Theothion, the risks of not spraying are far greater. We could lose our entire food crops from one end of the state to the other, putting thousands of workers out of a job. Now, I ask you, doctor, what could possibly be worse than that? You have no idea. Whoa! Hi, folks! General George here! Pest Eliminator! From the jungles of Vietnam to the jungles you call home, I've seen the same problem everywhere. Pests! Hate them all! Roaches, ants, fleas, scorpions, and snakes. So the next time the minions of Satan declaring war at your door, don't raise the white flag. Attack! Call for General George. Pest Eliminator. I'll kick some bug ass. General George, he's the man. Call 1-500-KICK-ASS for the Pest Eliminator in your battlefield and tell them the general sent you, as you were.
understand why I have to move. I love living in Newport. Oh, honey. You know, losing his job wasn't the best thing for your father's heart condition. Here we go. <laughs> Look, we can all do with a lot less stress in our lives. We're gonna be fine. Well, Dad, couldn't you just get a job that was less stressful? I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of places that would hire you. Honey, getting fired, downsized, was the best thing that ever happened to me. It opened my eyes to what's truly important. Buying the lodge is something I should have done a long time ago. I'll finally get to relax. We'll have a better quality of life, <laughs> all of us. Wanna go swimming? <laughs> what? Here? Now? Nah, I didn't even bring my trunks. Who said anything about trunks? I'm glad you could join me. Your swimsuit's a little long, though, isn't it? Why is it safer that way? I won't bite. At least not yet. Well, come on, you've heard the stories about this lake. Oh, please, you don't believe Sheriff Carlson's old wives' tales about people getting their legs gnawed off in the water, do you? What the Johnson get? I heard he partied too much with his dad and got caught in a propeller or something. And his daddy covered it up so he wouldn't have to go to jail. Well, the sheriff seemed pretty convinced. Yeah? Uh -huh. Well, I am convinced that we would make the most People Magazine-looking couple in the entire county. And the children we would have, they would be so hot. Jesus. Gosh, I've never had quite that reaction. There's something in the water. Get out of here! Did you see anything? Well, it never came up from under the water, but whatever it was, it was big, I'll tell you that much. You think it was the same thing that mangled the Johnson kid? I don't know. Veronica, let's get that leg of yours cleaned up. I don't want to risk any infection. Okay. Bo, first thing tomorrow morning, we search the lake. Until then, it's off limits. Yes, sir. Well, this is it. Oh, Gil. Ah, this sure is a beautiful, peaceful place, isn't it? <sighs> yeah, so is a cemetery. Doesn't mean we have to live there. Oh, come on, Shannon. <laughs> I know, I'm being a brat. It's just, I mean, my whole life was just pulled out from underneath me. I didn't even have a choice. And I didn't have a choice about losing my job, but I dealt with it. I made the best of a bad situation, just like you will. Now, look. I know that we've come here for a reason. And I just know that our moving here, it's gonna be a blessing for all of us. But don't you think that some things just happen for no reason at all? I don't mean to be difficult, Sheriff, but don't you think you're being a little hasty here? I mean, just because some girl got a, what, scratch on her leg, you wanna shut down the lake? You saw Jaws, didn't you? Sheriff waited too long before doing anything. Oh, that's a movie. Look, we haven't even gotten moved in yet. I've got my life savings sunk in this place, and you want to shut down the lake, we'll go broke. It's only for a few days until we find out what's going on out there. Then everything will be just fine. Oh. Nice meeting you folks.
I know. Hey, Doc. I've never seen anything quite like this. This laceration wasn't made by any animal I've ever come across. Now, you said this happened in the lake? Yeah, last night. I mean, it was probably a fish or a water moccasin or something. Yeah. Um, look, I'd cover it, but I think the wound needs to breathe. I've done all I can, but I'm going to send the culture to the lab for testing. But just as a precaution. Oh, I hate needles. Oh. Won't take long. Ready? Here we go. Oh. There. All right, Veronica. Now I want to see you in a few days just to make sure you're all right, okay? It'll be fine. Thanks, Lori. Sure. All right, come on, out with it. I know that look. Remember the Jones boy? How could I forget? This town did have a real MD until that happened. Scared old Doc Carcass right out of town. Yeah, I heard it was pretty gruesome. <laughs> Damnedest sight I've ever seen. It was like something rotted his flesh to the bones and then devoured him alive as he watched. When we found him, his eyes were bugged out like... One of those old monster movies. Well, you don't think there's any connection between that and Veronica, do you? I mean, one's a flesh wound and the other... Ugh. Besides, it happened 10 years ago and there hasn't been anything since. Nothing. Well, I'm sure you're right. But call me when you get the test results. I will. <laughs> Don't see anything, Sheriff. I don't know. Let's keep going. That was, was one hell of a shot there, Sheriff. I mean, I, w I wasn't scared or anything, but, whoo. Then you're opening the lake up again? I don't see why not. Oh, oh honey. Oh, yes. Oh. Yes. What happened? He catch that great white shark out there or something? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what he did. He caught that big white shark. <laughs> I haven't seen you here before. Are you staying at the lodge? Well, actually, my parents just bought it. I'm Shannon. Uh, Steve Williams. Hi. Yeah, I work at the station down the street. Well, at least until I get enough money to get out of this town. <laughs> yeah. Beware of the demons amongst us. Beware the demons. Oh, go spook someone else, will you? It's over here. There ain't no more demons, you drunk old loon. My getting is near. Death is near. Let's get out of here, guys. The party's over. Come on. Okay. What was that all about? That was crazy old Jedediah. I guess every town's got a guy like that. Yeah, not Newport Beach. Who is he? Well, people say he used to be a minister. Then one day a bolt of lightning struck his church and the whole place burned down. Um, he says that the end is near. <laughs> anyway, that was all before I was born. Huh. Well, I guess this town is just full of weirdos and old stories, huh? No, just old Jedediah. And the lake. Freaky. I can't believe anybody would even go in that water again. Well, it happened a long time ago. I mean, I must have been uh, 10 years old. And it hasn't happened since. Well, not until the other night. Have you lived here your whole life? Well, most of the part I can remember. Um. I never really knew my folks. My mom was raped when she was a kid and died a few years later. And Buck, the guy who owns the gas station, kind of took me into his home. I guess today I'd probably be an abortion statistic. 
Don't even say that. Everything happens for a reason. Steve, there you are. Veronica, hi. What are you doing here? I was about to ask you the same thing. Who's your little friend? Um, this is Shannon. Her parents just bought the lodge. Oh, how rustic. I'm Veronica, Steve's girlfriend. Uh, uh um, I, I'd better get going. It was nice meeting you both. Nice to meet you. Veronica, why, why did you do that? I mean, that was completely uncalled for. Like, I have to tell you. I mean, two seconds later, she'd have had her tongue practically down your throat. I saved you. You saved me? From what? Mono, herpes, maybe even AIDS. I don't get you. I practically saved your life and you're upset with me? What are you talking about? I mean, how do you know she isn't like a total slut or something? You don't know her. You don't know anything about her. But me, on the other hand, I'm like, honey, and you're my Mr. Bumblebee. We're just so sweet together. I know you want me. Every man wants me. Well, Sheriff, both lucky you're still a pretty good shot. This could have been pretty bad. Well, they... exactly what kind of fish is this? Well, its scientific name is ichthyosis. It's commonly known as the scarfish. It's uh, the most tenacious fish there is outside the shark family. But you know, the strange thing is, is they usually live in very cold, very deep water. This is the uh, first I've ever heard of one coming ashore before. Huh. Let's see what we got in here. Sure. Oh. It was pregnant? Well, a matter of speaking, yes. Looks like in a couple more weeks, this baby would have given birth to dozens more of these guys. Do you uh, mind if I study these? <laughs> have yourself a seafood omelet. <laughs> oh, uh, listen, Laurie. You don't think there could be more of these? I just don't want anyone to get hurt. I understand. Look, even if there are more of these, they live thousands of feet below the surface. This is the first I have ever heard of one attacking a human. I just think this was a very rare, very isolated incident. So you think the lake's safe? Well, from bacteria, germs, and other forms of contamination, no. <laughs> But from killer fish, I think we're in the clear. Thanks. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. What? Oh my gosh. How on earth did this get in there? Dr. Fujimoto, hi. This is Lori Casey. I was one of your graduate students. Oh, yes. Pretty blonde. Long legs. Nice chest cavity. <laughs> I remember you very nicely. Tell me, Lacey, what can I do for you? No, no, it's Lori. Lori... Never mind. Listen, we had an incident involving a scarfish, and I found a roach inside his digestive tract. Well... How do you know it didn't get in afterwards? Well, that's possible, but uh, I don't think so. Would you mind having a look at it? Oh, very disgusting. Professor? Professor, are you there? Oh, sorry, Lacey. I was seeing which insect would survive. The short, powerful one I call Tyson, or the tall, fast one I call Holyfield. <laughs> Tyson just bit Holyfield's antenna. Oh, I see. Uh, don't worry, Cammy. Everything's gonna be just fine. Hey, Norman. 
Hi, oh, Norman. Hi. This is my wife, Cammy. Cammy, this is Norman, our manager. I'm so happy to meet you. Gillis told me so much about you. So how's business? Oh, it's busy now through the end of August. And oh, good. Hey, it's packed again at the start of ski season. Great. All 18 rooms full. Wow. I think you made a real quality investment here. Well, we're just looking for some peace and quiet. Mm, oh, my husband tends to get a bit nervous. Honey. Stress. Honey, I'm not stressed. <laughs> Yes, he is. <laughs> well, if you need anything, I'll be right here at my post. Oh. Uh, I hope they sing better than they look. Our music's uh, a little behind here. Not quite top 40. No, I don't think so. Hey, uh, I want to apologize for what happened at the diner. It's not your fault. Just because you're involved with someone who's a little possessive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not involved with Veronica. I mean, she's not my girlfriend. But, uh, she's a little, a little crazy. She said that you guys were. Oh, she says a lot of things. Look, I've known this girl my whole life. Everyone in this town has known her their whole lives. Well, we're not exactly in Kansas anymore. <laughs> they were pretty damn close. Well, you know what? This, uh, this place kind of grows on you after a while. There's some good things about it. Do, um, do you want to dance? To this? Yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? All right, come on, I'll show you how to two-step. <laughs> Moving here was a good idea. I think I'm gonna like it. I think you may not be the only one. Look over there. What you really all about? It was not after night in the dark.
Good morning, Norman. You all right? Still a little shaky, Mr. Griffin. That incident last night sure scared a lot of people. Oh, it scared the hell out of me. Did they check everywhere for bugs? Checked and sprayed everywhere, nothing. Good. Did my daughter come down yet? Haven't seen her. Well, she's probably still sleeping. I'm sure she was up most of the night. Oh, that kid's just terrified of bugs. I'm more than happy to help, but don't you think this is something the county coroner's office should handle? I'm a veterinarian. And more qualified than any MD I've ever known. You know how it is once something goes to the county. It'll take months to hear back anything. Look, I, I don't know. <laughs> once you've taken a look, we'll send it there anyway. I just want to play it safe. <sighs> All right. What do you make of it? Larva? Living in a human corpse? I know it sounds crazy, but I think the larva somehow killed him. And do you remember that strange insect I sent you, the one that I found inside of the fish? Mm -hmm. Well, I just found another one alive inside of the corpse's mouth. Very peculiar peculiar specimen you sent me. Why is that? Although it closely resembles a member of the genus Blatella. Blatella? Yes, Blatella, better known as the common cockroach. But this fellow's genetic sequence is unlike that of any insect on record. It's an entirely new species. What are you saying? I don't know yet. I don't know. So I don't know why I keep having the same dream. The funny thing is, the room in the lodge, I dreamt about it before we even thought of moving here. It's like deja vu or something. Huh, that's pretty weird. Kind of freaky. What's freaky is that guy last night. I hate bugs. <laughs> Who doesn't? I'm sure it's one of those things that happens once every thousand years or so. I hope so. I can't believe I actually have to live there. Yeah, did they uh, check for more? Fumigated the whole lodge. I made them do my room twice. Well, that's good. Um, uh, do you have plans tonight? Because there's an old movie playing in town. And I thought maybe uh, <laughs> you would. Anything to get out of my room. Good. Minions attacking your door, don't raise the white flag. Attack! Call General George Pest Eliminator! I'll kick some bug ass! General George, he's the one. If he can't do it, yeah. it can't be done. Right. Call 1 500 Kick Ass for the Pest Eliminator in your battlefield and tell him the General sent you. I also hate rats. Is that he's 
finally facing his fears. So now he knows who the true enemy is. I have to confront the guy or go insane. <laughs> I'll work on that. resort town of Mount View, California was rocked for the second time in as many days when two people watching a horror movie ooh, inside this movie theater died sudden, inexplicable deaths that can only be described as gruesome and disgusting. Right out of a Freddy Krueger movie, only way gnarlier, commented one young moviegoer that was in there. Apparently, authorities are baffled as to the cause of these bizarre deaths, and inside sources are saying that the town may be quarantined until the causes of these deaths can be found. Oh, ma'am, ma'am, Katie Cunning, FU2 News. We understand that your grandson was actually one of the corpses identified inside. Well, that is what could be identified from the ghoulish, oh, bug-infested, no, no, rotted no, flesh that was please. once that's your enough, son. That's enough. Well, um, quick. Zoom in on the old lady. In an FU2 world exclusive in mere seconds, those of you at home may witness for the Turn first the time live That's on enough. national television Listen. a living corpse as it rots and oozes right before your very eyes. I'm Katie Cunning from FU2 News. March 3rd, 11.57 a.m. The outer membranes of the shell seem to have experienced a growth of what appears to be almost 100% in just two days. The strange thing is, is these eggs don't seem to be exhibiting any of the characteristics normal for their species. There have been three deaths. Larvae infested each of their corpses along with a live roach-like insect being found in each of them. I just can't help but wonder if there's any connection between the roach I found in the fish and the ones I found in the humans. The answer may lie inside of the eggs. Like yourself a fill up? Actually, I need a man. Is Steve around? Hey, Steve! You go from your butt on over here, Miss Veronica. What's tough to you? What is it, Veronica? I wanted to see you. I haven't been feeling very well lately. You seen a doctor? I don't need to see a doctor. I need you. I keep thinking about you. Come on, Veronica, you're a beautiful girl. You can have any guy you want. Well, then why don't you want me? Is it that plain-looking girl from the lodge? Because I can look more ordinary. Schoolgirl-like, if that's what floats your boat. I can't do much about these, although I must confess no one's ever really wanted me to. They seem to like them just fine. Come on, you know that's not it. It's just that. What? I I mean, I'd do anything for you. I cook, I clean, I make love real good. What else is there? Veronica, don't do this. I just don't want to be alone. It's depressing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry.
processing data. Analyze DNA. What exactly are you, my little friend? Searching database. One moment, Dr. Fujimoto. No match found. No well, match found. Well, if you're not found. anything exactly, maybe you're mostly something. DNA characteristics. Reproductive, warm-blooded, nocturnal, toxic. Latella. It's impossible. Latella. 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 Can't be warm-blooded. Latella. 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 What are you gonna do? You wanna close off the town like they did in the outbreak? I don't know what to do. Forty years as sheriff are hardly a problem, and now this. You think the bugs could be intelligent? Maybe like aliens trying to kill off the human race so they can take over the planet? You know, like in one of those old movies? And they're starting their planetary takeover with Mount View? <laughs> you have quite an imagination. Well, you have to, living in this town. I mean, imagination and booze, there isn't much else. The autopsy results should be back in a few days. I don't have to be a coroner to know the bugs cause these deaths. Question is, what do we do to stop them? What about spraying the town with bug spray? You know, like from a Cessna? Hmm. Huh. You may just make sheriff yet. We just don't have any options, okay? Buying this place cleared out our savings, so like it or not, we're just gonna have to wait this out. Oh, Gil, could, couldn't we just go to my parents' house for a couple of weeks till this whole thing's over? Yeah, I'm all for that. And then we can come back and you can sell this place when it's safe. Aren't we maybe overreacting just a little bit? I mean, they're not even sure what caused all this. Dad, I saw it with my own eyes. I'm really scared. I can't sleep. I can't even turn my lights off. Oh, honey, are you having the nightmare again? The one where you're covered by giant bugs, sweetheart. You've been having that same dream since you were a little girl. You're just afraid of bugs. It's a common phobia. <laughs> yeah, well, this place isn't helping the situation any. Mr. Griffin, there's a press conference the sheriff called to talk about the Good afternoon. problem. As I'm sure everyone in Mount View is by now painfully aware, there have been three deaths in recent days. While the cause has yet to be determined, there is reason to believe the larva found at the scenes may somehow be linked. Therefore, I have ordered the spraying of the pesticide theothion. Due to the toxic nature of this chemical, I'm requesting that everyone honor a curfew of 9 o'clock this evening to reduce the risk of human contact. You see, the sheriff's got it all under control. Everything's going to be just fine. Little luck, we'll all get back.
back. Uh, oh. Boy. Yeah. I reckon with all that spraying killed off all them little critters. I'm a hell of a lot bigger than they are, and that shit sure affected me. Gave me one whale of a headache. Uh, don't you worry, Buck. It's all gonna be over soon. <laughs> I'll take it. Sorry, Lori, but I guess we're all a little bit on edge. Yeah, from your call, it sounded like trouble. Yeah, look at this. Damn. Bugs ate the fish eggs. I don't think so. What are you saying? I'm saying I think the bugs evolved from the fish eggs. I thought these were the fish eggs. The fish was the host. She was just carrying the eggs. She was sort of like a surrogate mother. Who's the lucky father of these slimy little children? I don't know. Well, let's get rid of them before they cause more trouble. Bo? <laughs> don't look at me. You're the sheriff. I mean, you've got seniority in this. Experience. Careful, Sheriff. Yeah, don't, don't let them slime you. <sighs> Lacey thinks larva hatch in water. Peter says your DNA is larva. So if larva's born in water and Blatella is larva, then Blatella should survive in water. Right? on this phone whose voice is as sweet as sugar on honey. <laughs> oh, I wish the hell I was young again. Hello. Hi, Steve. It's Shannon. Hey. You okay? I was a little worried about you. No, I barely slept last night, but I'll be fine. Um, I, I wanted to see you. Can you come by? Uh, yeah. Get off about seven. Is that okay? Yeah. I miss you. I miss you, too. What's with the pins? It represents every time there's been an attack. I'm trying to see if there's a pattern. Very professional. Hey, what do you think about old Jedediah? You know, Shannon, the girl whose family bought the lodge? Well, her family filed a complaint and said he's been outside her room the last couple of nights. He do anything? Well, isn't being a peeper enough to haul him in? I mean, the guy scared the bodily wastes out of me. We just have to wait until he actually does something. Oh, 
Shannon. Shannon, you there? Hello? Steve. Did you just call? No. Why? Is something wrong? No. No, I'm sure it's nothing. I'm almost ready. Are you on your way? Yeah, I just got to go home and change and then uh, run an errand. So I'll be there as quick as I can. Oh. Okay, well, just don't be too late. I'll be waiting in the lobby. Okay. isn't exactly thriving. The lounge act died. What do you expect? Honey, that act died a long time before we ever got here. The uh, sheriff uh, came by this afternoon. Has he going to do something about that psycho old guy? Yeah, he said he'd do what he could. He also presented an offer on behalf of someone. Hmm. What sort of offer? A real estate offer. Someone is willing to buy the lodge. You're kidding. That's great. When can we leave? I can be packed in no time. Hold on, hold on. Before you get too excited, you should know the offer isn't a very good one. In fact, it's barely 25 cents on the dollar. But in light of all that's happened here, I'm not sure we have much of a choice. Veronica, your skin, it's all, it's all festered. I don't know what's wrong with me. My skin, it's all funny. I think maybe I need to see a cosmetologist. What? You know, uh, um, a beautician. I think there's one in San Bernardino. <coughs> oh, Jesus, what is this? <coughs> like it? It's moonshine, my great-grandfather's recipe. They say it'll cure anything, even better than chicken soup. Look, Veronica, we, we got to get you uh, to a doctor. I mean, a, a real doctor. No, no, it'll be OK. I mean, it's probably just, um, just a 24-hour bug or something. What is it? Ow. What? What is it? Is it your leg? When I got bit, wait, wait, wait. I think it's maybe a little bit infected. Well, let me take a look and see. No, going. my legs, they don't look very pretty. It's okay. I'm just going to take a look, okay? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. I'm scared. Oh, God. I didn't have anybody left here. I didn't know who else to call. Veronica, we got to get you to a hospital, okay? Oh. No, I don't want to go to a hospital. People die there. I just want you to hold me, please. Okay, I'm ready. Just here. take care. Okay. Okay, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. Come on. Everything's gonna be okay, just like that. You really think so? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know, doctors can uh, do anything <laughs> these days. Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess if they can put a man on the moon, they can fix a few silly little bumps on my leg, right? Right. Ow! Oh, Jesus. Oh, Veronica, I'm going to call an ambulance, oh, okay? Just hang in there. Oh, Jesus. Oh, it hurts. Jeez. What's happening to me? Oh. You're going to be fine. Come on! Please help me. Help me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I don't believe this. He's over an hour late. He's standing me up. <laughs> oh, honey, I really don't think he's doing that. He seemed like such a nice young man. Yeah, they all seem nice at first till you get to know them. 
I'm going to bed. Um, and Daddy, I'm really glad you decided to sell this place. I can't wait to get home. Good night. Good night, sweetheart. Good night. Good night, darling. Sleep well. I worry about her. I do, too. But you know what? I am proud of you for selling this place. I know it's not going to be easy. The money and everything. But, honey, we're going to be fine. You're a good husband. And a good father. And I love you. You know... I think our daughter had the right idea going to a room. What do you say we go to ours? Oh, yeah? What do you have in mind? Something nasty. <laughs> we'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. George here. Prince, to the soldiers of Satan have you by the short hairs. I'm talking bugs, my friend. And I don't mean funny. Are bugs infesting your life, making it a living hell for you and your loved ones? Well, it's time to fight back. It's time to bring out the Redeemer. Oops. So when you want to rid your life of irksome insects, call on the one who does it best. Call for General George, Pest Eliminator. And I'll kick some bug ass. General George, he's the one eradicating the insect scum. Call 1-500-KICK-ASS for the Pest Eliminator in your battlefield and tell him the general sent you, as you were. All day long, I keep neglecting the things I have to do that people are Well, expecting. what do you think of this, Mr. What Griffin? Oh, I don't want to have to think. Mm. How can I Did you remember to take your heart medication? With the way you look tonight, I better have the whole bottle. like a whole new man. started 
snatching at her. You know, and I called the medic over an hour ago, but he's still not here. Hey, there's nothing more you could have done. You did all you could. Hey, could someone cover the body? She wouldn't want anyone to see her like that. Oh, I, I ain't going near that thing. No damn way. I know we weren't exactly friends, but nobody deserves to die like that. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. So what time are you guys getting out of here? I have my way as soon as my parents wake up. Well, what time do they usually get up? Early. Oh, last night was a special night for them. They didn't get to bed till kind of late. <laughs> What? I'd better wake them up. They'd be mad if they blew the whole day. Can you ring my parents' room, please? Sure. Deaths as their naked bodies were just rolled away moments ago. And I, for one, can tell you it was not a pretty sight. Also, last night, the rotted, bug infested corpse of Veronica Hart was found inside her home. Now, sources say that the Busty Town babe's death was different than the others, in that Veronica Hart was incubating roaches and larvae inside what was once her body. Excuse me, sir. Katie Cunning, FU2 News. Now, first the lounge act, then your boss and his wife, both naked, very gross, very dead. This cannot be good for business. I'm not sticking around to find out. Oh. Well, there you have it. We have five dead humans, one dead bimbo. Bugs are everywhere. Rumors are rampant that, excuse me, sir, Katie Cunning, FU2 News. Now, everybody is talking about that Mount View is just one giant bug-infested nest with alien insects incubating inside humans to launch an attack on mankind. Can you comment on this? Armageddon is near. Death is near. Well, aren't we a ray of sunshine? <laughs> well, word is that world-renowned pest eliminator General George has been called in to help Eliminate the problem. Until then, all roads in and out of Mount View will be closed off. 
Well, as you can see, it's sunny and breezy now, but the town's population, what's left of it, wait in terror for night oh. to fall. The unspeakable question on everyone's mind is who Come will on. be next? Excuse Come me. Uh, I, I am Katie Cunning, FU2 News. Due to technical difficulties beyond our control, night. we now return to our regularly scheduled... The attacks program. all happen at night. Or near moisture, that's it! Yeah. Mm hmm What mm -hmm. you saying? Shh, just a minute. Until we find the source, everyone in this town should know one thing. Don't even think about turning out the lights. Well? It's just like Lori said, they're pretty much everywhere. I mean, darker with water. I mean, the lake, the lodge, the theater, homes. Tell you this, I'm sure glad I don't own any real estate in this town. At least not if I had to sell it. This whole thing has gotten way out of hand. Practically an epidemic. <laughs> well, I did something about it. I called General George. He said he'd welcome the challenge. He's on his way as we speak. You called who? You know, General George, the bug guy on television. <laughs> General George? <laughs> you may as well have called one of those TV ministers to exercise the town from the bugs. <laughs> I just want to get out of here. Just got to get out of here. Thanks for coming with me. It's not like I have any reason to stay. What the hell? What's going on, Luke? What are you, a deputy now? The sheriff, he deputized all of us. Town's in a quarantine till further notice. That's why we even have the highway patrol. Sheriff's orders. So what are you saying, we can't leave here? If you leave, the, the bugs may leave with you. We can't have that, so you're gonna have to turn around. Well, when can we get out? General George coming in? It should be no time at all. The TV bug guy? Do any time now. Well, I'll be. And they said pesticides wouldn't cause side effects. Looks like they were wrong. The question now is, what are you? What in the Sam Hill is going on with you two? I thought you were leaving town. Yeah, well, we were, but they shut off the whole highway. Nobody in or out. Well, it looks like somebody got in. General George. He's real? I thought he was just an actor in those commercials, like Colonel Sanders. Why, that man is a living legend. He was a war hero in Vietnam. What did he do? He survived. General George. General George. General George. I hope you don't mind me interrupting you like this, sir, but I just want to say what a great honor it is to finally meet up with you. Fill it up. Oh, it'll be my pleasure. Yes, sir, I'm a military man myself. Served in WW2 in the motor pool. Served under the command of General Dwight D. Eisenhower himself. My one regret in life was that I, I never really did have the chance to meet that man. Oh. I'm sure you would have made quite an impression. Well, listen, sir. You're, you're just gonna have to forgive me, but I gotta go and use the facilities. All right, Buck, I'll fill it up. Off to it. I understand your town has a little problem. Yeah, things have gotten pretty bad around here, so I hope you're as good as you say you are. Shannon's parents, they, uh... Casualties of war? 
Come here, dear. Come here. It's always a tragedy when innocent civilians lose their lives fighting a battle that wasn't theirs to fight. I'm sorry. Thanks. I just hope you get the rest of the bugs before anyone else dies. I leave nothing to chance. I want a full, comprehensive, all-inclusive briefing. Facts. Everything you know, I want to know. Understood? You do know the war's over. The war's never over, son. Not as long as fine, God-fearing people like yourselves are subject to the dark shadow of tyranny. What's your plan? First and foremost, you have to know and understand the enemy. Learn their strengths. Exploit their weaknesses. <laughs> Still got the good stuff. So tell me, have you seen the face of the enemy? I just never want to see another bug as long as I live. Well, don't you worry. When General George opens up his can of whip ass, there'll be roaches in Siberia feeling the heat. Uncle Buck. Stand back, son. Oh, oh God. Ah. You two sure you want to do this? This is personal. For both of us. Then let's kick some bug ass. started a postcard of serenity to the untrained eye what do you mean you see something bug tracks lots of them yeah they appear to be amphibious that means they can live in water and on dry land and, as we learned at the good soldier's grave, they have a particular aversion to daylight. What are they, killer roaches? Mutants. Mutants? Yes. What started out as an ordinary insect is now a toxic killer that thrives once inside the bloodstream of human beings. So you're saying that once they get inside the body, they spontaneously lay larvae which destroy human tissue as they multiply at hyper-accelerated rates? That's exactly what I'm saying. The larvae metamorphosize into mature insect, which then continue to lay more larvae eggs until they enter their cocoon. The Patella undergo metamorphosis? What do they become? It's amazing, Lacey. It's unlike anything I've ever seen. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. What is it? Oh. It's a... <laughs> Professor? Professor? Oh, my God! Professor! Professor! 
You say this is where the dead girl was fish bait? Yeah, except it was at night. Mm-hmm. That's always when they attack in the dark, when they have the advantage of not being seen. Question, how do they spend their days and where? Somewhere dark? Yeah, where it's damp or wet. Very good. You guys are very good. <laughs> I'm very impressed. <laughs> Hungry? Uh. Question. What's dark and damp with bugs all over? Oh. Oh. What happened? Are you okay? Dr. Fujimoto said. Dr. Fuji who? A scientist in Palo Alto. I sent him a roach, and the roach turned itself into something and killed him. Look, we have to take action now because the bugs here are going to do the same thing to us. There's nothing more we can do. Oh, listen to me. You don't understand. <sighs> the people we have lost so far, that is nothing compared to what will happen if we don't do something. We are all in grave danger. Don't you think I know that? The sheriff told me to stay put. Someone's got to be at the station. <sighs> What is that? I was just trying to figure out if there's some sort of a pattern on the attacks. The lake. They all started at the lake. You think they're spawning underwater or something? Underwater or underground? Where it's dark and damp. You lost your mind. When was the last time anybody was up there? It's been a long time. The place has been shut down for years. Ever since old man Johnson got drunk and killed his kid in a boat accident. Boat accident? Yeah. Johnson's son got all mangled in the lake. Everyone thought it was from the boat's propeller, but Johnson's been a drunk ever since he found out there's no gold in the mine. Well, they could go. We're looking for him. <laughs> What do we do now? Hang on. Vampire bat. Vampire bat? It's bites deadlier than the King Cobra. Kill you like that. Holy shit. Come on. I sure hope we're doing the right thing coming here. Or if I'm right. Try it again. Hey. 
damn thing won't start. Great. Now what do we do? How do we get up the hill? Well. Wait a minute. What? You ever rode a horse before, Lori? Oh, no. Uh huh. Do you see something? I sense something. What? What is it? Movement. The walls. It ain't the walls, sweetheart. Oh. Oh my god. I think we hit the mother load. It's time to put these bugs. something I see something oh it's you for a minute there I thought you were the enemy <laughs> sheriff you know for an old band of mine this place sure is crowded general George I just love your commercial I'm a big fan are you Jeez. oh well <laughs> thanks <laughs> Which one do you like the best? Oh, you know the one with the rope where you swung it on the rope? Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the Tarzan thing. Yeah, you know, they wanted me <laughs> yeah. to wear a harness for that thing, but I don't wave, man. They want to wear me a little skirt there, like a chain thing. I well, everyone <laughs> cut the crap! Why don't we all get out of here? Yeah, good idea. <laughs> Wait! Is it, do you see something? You sense something? I hear something. A larva's uncle. Oh, Jesus. The eggs. Stand back, everyone. These bugs are gonna feel the heat of hell. I'd put that down if I were you, General. I said drop your weapon, General. What is this? Now, everyone into the shaft. Now! You son of a bitch. You knew the whole time about this place. The Botella, everything you knew. Why, Sheriff? Why in the world are you doing this? Why do you think? You think I'm going to be broke my whole life? Sheriff in some hit town, pushing 70, and can't even afford new dentures? Oh, not this Yoko. This whole damn town is sitting on a billion dollars worth of gold, and it's going to be mine! All mine! Johnson kid. The mother bug got him. Only old Doc Carcass figured it out. Stupid old bastard wanted to kill the mother that laid the golden egg. I knew it was only a matter of time before she struck again, and people would want to get out of town. Sell their property cheap. You made the offer on the lodge. And if they'd taken it sooner, your parents might still be alive. You're a twisted old bastard. You have no idea. Uh, Sheriff. What is it, General George? Uh, mommy's home. You don't actually expect me to believe that nonsense, do you? <laughs> 
It's Nightfall. She's in the lake. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Now, into the damn shaft, or I'll shoot every damned one of you, starting with the girl. Do as I say! Now! If you're going to shoot someone, you shoot me. What? If that's the way you want it... Yeah. 
In the news today, General George S. Merlin remains in satisfactory condition after a life and death struggle with the mother bug. Uh, it's nothing really. both everywhere. Stop the police station and everything. Hi. Oh, I'm sheriff now and got me a little bit more responsibility. There was just a little disturbance in the lake, that's all. I was just taking some water samples. I'm sure it's nothing. Yeah. Well, I just wanted to say goodbye and thank you both for everything. Are you sure you don't want to stay with us? Uh, well, after everything that happened, I'm sure. Okay. All right. Well... Bye-bye. Take care. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you later. Okay. okay. Be careful. All right, well, I will. Okay. Okay. Armageddon is near. Death is near. You're all gonna die. Bye. See you later. The city streets are dark and cold Along the heads about to unfold The neon lights are flashing by A stranger's voice is whispering why We'll never stop, we'll never give in A fire burns like a violin We'll keep on playing Until the end A rock and roll will never bend We're living fast We're living loud our hearts are beating like a drumming crowd We are the rebels, we are the ones Our music echoes like a thousand guns We're driving down the open road Our spirits high, our passion glowed We're chasing dreams that seem so far We're raising hell like shooting stars We'll never stop, we'll never give in our fire burns like a violin We'll keep on playing, we'll keep on playing Until the end A rock and roll will never bend We're living fast We're living loud Our hearts are beating like a drumming crowd We are the rebels We are the ones Our music echoes like a thousand guns We'll never stop, we'll never stop, 